Hello everyone and welcome to the Odds Checker preview of Monday Night Football. I'm Davis Maddock from SportsGrid.com here to take a look at the Pittsburgh Steelers at New York Giants and also because it is the first Monday Night Football game of the year. We also have the Tennessee Titans at the Denver Broncos. The first game, not really a particularly difficult one for us to uh, to break down. If you head over to OddsChecker.com, you can find the best odds for all of these games, we can see the Steelers are favored by six points. Uh, you can get them as good as minus 250 on the money line, and uh, the total for this game is 50 and a half. I think the direction that we are going to go uh, in this game is, of course, going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers minus six. We also like them on the money line. Uh, last year, the Pittsburgh Steelers had the worst quarterback play in football, right? They were absolutely terrible with Mason Rudolph and Devlin Hodges. They were still able to go eight and eight, and they had the third best defense in football by Football Outsiders DVOA. That defense should be a little bit better, should be healthier. And uh, Daniel Jones is really the most turnover prone quarterback in football. He had more fumbles last year than game started. He also averaged an interception per start. And uh, that's really just not going to fly against the Pittsburgh Steelers in this defense. We think that Ben Roethlisberger should be fully healthy here in week one. They're going to be able to play with the lead fairly well with James Conner back healthy. Really, no concerns from uh, from my part, really, uh, in this Steelers-Giants game. I think that you can bet them minus six comfortably. I obviously think that you can bet the money line comfortably. As far as the total, I don't love either side. Uh, I definitely would lean under because I think that it's going to be very hard for this New York Giants team to score when the game is close. However, uh, I do expect Daniel Jones to be in there firing in the fourth quarter, racking up some of those garbage time stats as he was able to do uh, a couple different times last year as well. So our selections for Steelers Giants is uh, we like uh, the Steelers minus six on the spread. Of course, we like them on the money line and a slight lean towards the under here as well. Uh, Titans Broncos to me is a much more difficult game to pick because so much of our information and data that we have on this Titans team is really related to, you know, just how great Ryan Tannehill was for a short stretch last year. From the time Ryan Tannehill took over uh, until Mark, after Marcus Mariota was injured, the Tennessee Titans kicked only one field goal. They just ended every drive in a touchdown. And of course, that's going to make your offense look great. That's going to make your numbers look great. And, uh, you know, we are actually going to go with the Denver Broncos and the points here. Uh, Denver was the 13th best defense by DVOA last year. Uh, they, of course, get the home field advantage playing at Mile High Stadium. Uh, and that is, that actually does seem to be one of the legit uh, home field advantages that exist outside of refereeing decisions in the NFL. Uh, I do not feel as strongly about this one as I do about the Steelers minus six. You know, uh, the the Titans with uh, with Derrick Henry, with A.J. Brown, they just have the ability to really perplex the stat nerds with how easy they are able to score touchdowns. But we do like the Denver Broncos here at plus three. I think the money line is break even. Uh, I would rather just bet the plus three at even money. And uh, this current posted total, uh, it, it seems to be inaccurate right now. I'm seeing it at 56 and a half. Uh, if you can get that number, I would uh, I would definitely take the under. But that seems to be uh, that's a boosted odds from BetMGM. The actual uh, over under is uh, a little bit different than that one. And I would lean the under in this game as well. These are just these are really just two teams that we expect to play uh, you know, really good defense. We expect them to run the ball a ton, and uh, in defensive matchups where guys run the ball a ton, you can generally lean the under. Though overs, as we are recording this video, are 9-5 and five in the first week, maybe leaning that defenses are a little bit behind offenses, so keep that in mind as you wager as well. Uh, everyone, thank you very much for watching and listening. This has been Davis Maddock, and uh, we'll see you soon.